The J-16 Red Eagle is a formidable multi-role strike fighter developed by China's Shenyang Aircraft Corporation, representing a significant evolution in the People's Liberation Army Air Force's combat capabilities. Based on the Russian Su-30 MKK airframe, but heavily modified with indigenous Chinese avionics, weapon systems and structural enhancements, the J-16 bridges the gap between older, fourth-generation fighters and the newer fifth-generation platforms like the J-20, often compared to the American F-15E Strike Eagle. Due to its dual-role strike and air superiority functions, the J-16 has earned the nickname Red Eagle among Western defense analysts, highlighting its growing prominence in China's aerial warfare doctrine. One of the most striking aspects of the J-16 is its airframe design. It retains the classic twin-engine, twin-tail and canardless configuration of the Su-27 family, which provides excellent maneuverability and range. However, Chinese engineers have incorporated significant upgrades, including the use of composite materials to reduce weight and radar cross-section. While not a stealth aircraft in the same sense as fifth-generation fighters, the J-16 does feature some radar-absorbent materials and design tweaks that lower its detectability compared to legacy flanker variants. The airframe is also reinforced to handle heavier payloads and extended high-G maneuvers, making it suitable for both precision strike missions and dogfighting scenarios. Under the hood, the J-16 is powered by two WS-10A or WS-10B turbofan engines domestically produced by the Aero Engine Corporation of China. These engines provide a combined thrust of approximately 27,000 to 29,000 pounds, enabling the aircraft to reach speeds of up to Mach 2 and giving it a combat radius of around 1,500 kilometers without aerial refueling. The inclusion of indigenous engines marks a strategic shift for China, reducing reliance on Russian power plants and enhancing maintenance and operational autonomy. The J-16 also features an advanced fly-by-wire flight control system that improves stability, responsiveness and pilot workload management during complex missions. Avionics represent another major leap forward. The J-16 is equipped with an active electronically scanned array, AESA radar, likely the Type 1493 or a more advanced variant, which offers superior target detection, tracking and electronic warfare capabilities. This radar can simultaneously engage multiple air and ground targets, track low observable threats, and perform terrain following functions for low altitude penetration missions. Complementing the radar is a comprehensive suite of sensors, including an infrared search and track, a DRST system mounted in front of the cockpit, which allows passive detection of enemy aircraft without emitting radar. Signals, a critical advantage in contested electromagnetic environments. The cockpit of the J-16 has been completely modernized with large area, multifunction displays, a helmet-mounted display system, and a digital glass cockpit layout that reduces pilot fatigue and enhances situational awareness. Data fusion from onboard sensors and offboard platforms, such as airborne early warning aircraft, drones and ground-based radars, is integrated into a single tactical picture, enabling the pilot to make rapid decisions in dynamic combat scenarios. The aircraft also supports secure data links compatible with China's broader network-centric warfare architecture, allowing seamless coordination within joint force operations. In terms of armament, the J-16 boasts an impressive and versatile weapons loadout. It features 12 to 14 hardpoints, capable of carrying up to 12 tons of ordnance, making it one of the most heavily armed fighters in the world. 
air-to-air -air capabilities include the PL-10 short-range infrared guided missile and the PL-15 long-range active radar guided missile, the latter of which is considered comparable to the American AIM 920D in terms of range and guidance sophistication. For ground attack, the J-16 can deploy a wide array of precision-guided munitions, including laser-guided bombs, satellite-guided JDAM equivalents like the LS-6, and standoff cruise missiles such as the KD-88 and YJ-91 anti-radiation missile. It can also carry anti-ship missiles like the YJ-12 giving it a potent maritime strike role in the South China Sea and beyond. Electronic warfare is another domain where the J-16 excels. A specialized variant, the J-16D, functions as a dedicated electronic attack aircraft, analogous to the US Navy's EA-18G Growler. The J-16D removes the internal cannon and infrared sensor to accommodate large electronic warfare pods and enhanced jamming systems. It is capable of disrupting enemy radar, communications and missile guidance systems, thereby creating corridors for friendly aircraft to operate in highly defended airspace. This capability underscores China's growing emphasis on integrated electronic and kinetic warfare as part of its anti-access at area denial, A2AD. Strategy.Operational deployment of the J-16 began around 2013, and it has since become a backbone of the PLAAF's frontline combat units. It is primarily assigned to units tasked with long-range strike, air interdiction, and suppression of enemy air defenses, SEAD. The aircraft has been spotted conducting patrols near Taiwan, the Senkaku, Diaoyu Islands, and along China's borders with India, signaling its role in power projection and deterrence. Training exercises often showcase the J-16 operating in tandem with J-20 stealth fighters, where the J-20 clears the airspace of enemy fighters while the J-16 delivers precision strikes, a tactic reminiscent of the U.S. Air Force's penetrator and striker concept. From a strategic standpoint, the J-16 enhances China's ability to conduct independent, high-intensity air operations without relying on external support. Its combination of range, payload, sensor fusion and electronic warfare capabilities makes it a versatile asset across the full spectrum of conflict, from peacetime deterrence to large-scale warfare. Moreover, its domestic production ensures scalability and sustainability, with estimates suggesting that over 300 units have already been built and more are on order. Critics point out that the J-16 still lacks true stealth and may be vulnerable to advanced integrated air defense systems when operating alone. However, within China's layered operational framework, supported by drones, electronic warfare assets, and stealth fighters, this limitation is mitigated. The aircraft's real strength lies in its adaptability, reliability, and integration into a modern, networked force structure. In conclusion, the J-16 Red Eagle is far more than a derivative of older Russian designs. It is a symbol of China's maturing aerospace industry and its ambition to field a world-class air force capable of global reach and regional dominance. With continuous upgrades expected in radar, engines and weapons, the J-16 will likely remain a central pillar of Chinese air power for decades to come, shaping the balance of power in the Indo-Pacific and beyond.